Hey guys, welcome back. Um, right now I'm working on the 2014 SRT Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, this guy right here. Um, I got to check engine light because the fuel nozzle neck broke. And it's a really common issue. And this is the issue right here. Right there. This guy just snapped off. It's tapped right there. You can see what it snapped off. So to get this out to replace just this you have to get a whole new piece to get a get a whole new piece and i already did all the hard part or the boring part pretty much so let's get that process so it goes right here go you have to unplug this tube right here pull that out you gotta take out this center clip Right there, and then you gotta take off this clip down back here. Just a little more in there. I'll show you guys right now. And after you take off that, that's all the wiring. Pretty much, you gotta unplug. And then these are all zip tied together. You can see right there, zip, zip, and zip. So we're gonna replace this whole housing right here. This whole tube. I don't know if you guys can see all the way up to here, so we can get this guy free there and i took off my door so it's out of the way um but yeah let's get to it little tab right there you gotta squeeze you gotta make sure you're careful because these things are really brittle um and then what's next what's next where's this guy he screwed onto this sensor so you guys want to make sure you guys let's do those pretty sure they're 10 millimeters but you gotta get a deep one yep you gotta get a 10 a deep 10 millimeter like that right there I don't know if you guys see what I'm seeing or not there you go gotta have you balanced Both of them on. Okay, after you take it off, there's that. I don't know if this guy is connected to what. This guy is connected to these guys, so just get that out of the way so you can pull it out. There that goes. This is separate, so you gotta make sure. And if this goes, and if this goes. Let me go get that new part real quick. There you go. This is a new part. So you just kind of look exactly where these go and mimic everything. So this is the part that broke. Only if you could switch out this part, it'd be way easier. Um. So yeah, let's follow these hoses right here. So. We gotta take off this hose and then this skinny one on top. So it's gonna be it's gonna be this one. This one doesn't even have the clip. Look, or is it on the back? Okay, so we got it. So since that tab's broken, I had to push these two up, and then there's another tab that's right here that you just pull out. 
this guy you just leave because that one's for a different connector. So it's just for some reason I gotta. Oh, there we go. Pull that one out of that one so it's not yanking on the right, the wrong stuff. This guy's this metal connector goes around and then plugs in. Yep. So we gotta follow this guy. We gotta replace the hole. This one is this one right here. And we gotta replace it to this little nickel right here, this little nipple thingy. And I think it's the same thing. This one that you push in. Oh yeah, see so you push that one in and then pull out. Okay, we're almost there. And this one, get this one. Just making sure nothing else is connected in our way. These guys, let's pull this plate out. Movement, a little bit of play now. Now let's take off. I'm missing any more 10 millos. No more, just this one. And then we'll go back right there and see what it is. And then when I took off this rim, right now, rim tire, I noticed it was a red sway, but I don't know if that's stuck or not. This guy was all dirty. Rim bone needs to be new, painted. Brakes need some new brakes too. This guy's, this guy's old. What is that? Oh shit. Oh crap. Uh, probably just sound foam. So let me get my 10 millimeter back out. Gotta get this bolt. Okay. Okay, I took off that little black piece because it's getting my way. I thought I could work around it, but. So these are the last screws you're gonna need. You're gonna have to take off this little wrench and then there's a safety clip right there. Uh, I'll let you guys know how it looks like when it's when I'm done and it puts everything back together. That's the process. Uh, you should be good when you take off this, just bend it so if you have uh, a lot of gas, you wouldn't. I only have a quarter tank in, so I should be good, but I'll let you guys know if any gas comes out. Hey guys, so my GoPro died, so yep, finally got it out. There's the old one. And this, these tabs are broken, so I had to crack them. It's so hard to get in the bottom. This one's so easy. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect the bottom and bottom again. Don't forget the screw right there, and then those two screws and put the sensor back up. And then there's a clip right there, and there's a clip up there you gotta do. And yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I got the bottom in, flip that in, squeeze it in. Just gotta tighten this down now. It comes with the, the new one that you order. It comes with an extra hose. Don't know why, I just took it in the back. Just, just comes with an extra hose. Screw right here. Gotta put this plate back over here. A little bit. One, two, push back, push back. This guy goes right there. Two, screw, one screw right there. One screw right there. I hope you guys can see. One screw right there. One screw right there. Gotta clip this one back up on top. This way. Let's see. There's the snap. Boom. This one goes right here, boom, and an extra hose. I would just say tuck it back here, just in case. Um, yeah, that's pretty simple. There's how it, that's how it looks. I'm gonna be getting this door fixed because the screw is loose, but there we go. There we go, just, let's see, this one comes with like coating in there. It's ready to go, looks good. Sweet.